Hi and welcome to the new tactical alert. This one's called Cold Revenge and I am I missed this last night. Completely missed this last night. I don't know how I missed this coming up. Um I was on about 13, 14 hours ago. I must have literally logged off and then this came. So that kinda sucks. But, as you can see, it does work kind of the same as it normally does. It's on Europa for the next two and a half days. So it's basically going to end on Monday by the looks of it. And you get 30,000 credits for five. Five what? I'm not really sure. And at five Oricon cells at ten. And a Catalyst Blueprint at twenty. And there was also a 24-hour alert after yesterday's live stream but it's an arc wing alert so a lot of complaining there uh, when that actually first popped up I just haven't got round to doing that yet it will work the same as the previous ones did at 5 a new node will open and you have to go to that node on your Europa to continue the points you cannot just form the easy one for 20 it goes 5 then you gotta move on to the next one to get to 10 and then to the last one to get to 20 you really cannot miss these missions but just like always it does have conclave you cannot go over 800 conclave to get in here that's why it's got that little weird symbol next to the 800 but I would have to admit this uh, getting that 800 was much easier this time round Frost has all of his mods on, the AK stilettos I'm taking with us have all of its mods on. I basically sacrificed the Sentinel, all it's got is vacuum. It do I could actually fit the striker mod back in so Carrier can shoot. But the weapon he's shooting had does no damage because it has no mods on it. But it meant I could take a melee weapon with all of its mods on. A secondary weapon with all of its mods on. Because choosing between the secondary and the primary was a bit I couldn't choose so I just went with the AK stilettos because they've never failed as yet so it looks like it's a capture mission it doesn't actually say it's literally the only thing that anything said about this in the forums were log in to play the new tactical alert and every points thing reached you have to progress to the next node to go any further that was it oh god it's a maze of a planet this planet I like, the ships I don't. The ships on these planets suck. Okay, uh, one thing though, all of those things flying above his head, yeah, take them out first. Because I was doing zero damage to him until everybody else took out the flying things. It does seem to be two points per run, yes, it definitely says two. One thing I did like about this though that I didn't notice earlier is if I can actually, there it goes. This little bar at the top which I'm liking more and more, it not only takes you to the mission, it brings up how far you've gotten the mission. The only thing that is missing is a little progress bar to say you've got so much of so much. It even has the 800 uh, conclave on here. And just like always with these things, the rewards are automatic. As soon as you get a five, the reward will come. As soon as you get to 10, same thing. And I'm assuming same thing when you get to 30. Sorry, 20. Oh, tell me you're not actually on the... Sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> um, my bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I just kind of clipped the end of the bridge and sent it flying down. Lucky he managed to catch them though, that could have gone horribly wrong. Same with the Oregon cells, five of them, it'll automatically just be sent to you. It is a nice touch, the three nodes. Uh, the Conclave stayed the same, 800 across them. You start at 10 to 15 leveled enemies, then you move on to 15 to 20 level enemies. Then 20 to 25. It's actually this one where the guy you're meant to be capturing basically sees you and runs for it doesn't stop 
but they're shoot he's shooting you while at full sprint and every time you go to open fire you stop running and start walking so you cannot keep up with them so this, the second guy will just uh, or the first guy one of them will just run away every time actually failed a mission because of that because he knocked me down and instead of going after the other guy that revived me and he got away so that was also my fault of course sometimes you'll load into a game and this will happen this is always fun I'm not glitched or anything I just I can't do anything it hasn't loaded in correctly so I'm just staring through a wall and hey there we go there, so much time. Spawn in and here. Yeah. So there is a, a few glitches in this still. That is actually a nice touch. I'm trying to throw grenades for some reason. Ow! No, oh, that's the guy who would take the flying things out first. can't hear or see anything for the amount of explosions from Mirage yet. Now uh, you also can't hit the guy for all the Mirages standing in front of you. See the rhinos, they're everywhere. But this, it's a small event, it will, that was actually a pretty decent game to spawn into there, we spawned in as it ended. That was lucky. Mind you, I've just spent nearly 10 minutes trying to get into a game now. So I probably joined one, somebody's left. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. It's a nice short event, so it should be easy enough to do. It is going to be a bit time consuming for the, them last 10 points because, well, if one of them gets away, you do actually fail. I thought people were just complaining for the sake of complaining, but that happened to me twice in a row. Starting to get a tiny bit annoyed with it, to be honest. Just because they got away, but that was mainly because each time it was my fault. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. That, that's a dead end. <laughs>